The Senate spending scandal is heating up again. The Prime Minister's office confirmed Stephen Harper's right-hand man cut a check to cover Senator Mike Duffy's expenses. An independent external audit revealed that three senators racked up inappropriate living expenses. Now, are taxpayer, taxpayers taking the fall? Jessica Hume is in Ottawa with the details on this story. Jessica. Hey, Pat. Yeah, this is a story that is not likely to go away anytime soon. Uh, it kind of has scandal written all over it. So just to walk our viewers through what actually happened here, uh, an audit was commenced. Uh, this is to do with travel and housing expenses for three senators. Of those three senators, only Mike Duffy refused to cooperate, uh, refused to provide any kind of documentation. Uh, now, that was what we heard. And then we all of a sudden heard that Duffy had paid off uh, about $90,000 of outstanding money. This is money, this is uh, inappropriate uh, expenses that have been filed. So um, only now we're hearing that actually the only reason why Duffy was able to repay that money is because Nigel Wright, as you mentioned, Stephen Harper's chief of staff, got him a personal check, a gift of uh, more money than most Canadians make in a year. So many questions uh, are arising now. I mean, first of all, uh, uh, many people have wondered whether this check from Mr. Wright was an indication or an endorsement uh, that he supported Mr. Duffy's non-cooperation with that audit. Uh, another question, of course, is whether this money was uh, in exchange for anything else. So um, basically, it the problem here is it looks like the government is going out of its way to give preferential treatment to uh, Mike Duffy and to really kind of uh, expedite him getting off the hook for this one. So um, to put that into perspective, the, gar the, the government has threatened to garnish the wages of the two other senators, Patrick Brazo and Mac Harb, if they don't repay that money. Um, which begs the question, uh, if they are unable to pay for the money, as Duffy has said that he was, is Nigel Wright or anyone else who's uh, deeply entrenched within Stephen Harper's government going to bail them out as well? Well, we heard from some uh, MPs last night, Pierre Pauly of uh, 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 Tory MP, for example, has described what Nigel Wright, uh, was, what he did, not only as, uh, well, actually as, as honorable, he went so far as to call it honorable, said that he was uh, preventing the burden of these uh, inappropriate expenses from falling on the taxpayer. Um, now, this is an entirely different narrative than the first narrative that was being spun about this, which was uh, Nigel Wright is a nice guy who was helping out a good friend. So the narrative here keeps on changing. Uh, opposition parties are not buying it, and they want more answers. Let's take a listen to Tom Mulcair, leader of the NDP, uh, wondering what the government is going to do to right this apparent wrong. Let's take a listen. The Prime Minister's office is getting tripped up in its own lies, and it's time for Stephen Harper to come clean on this whole issue. There was no way to understand Mike Duffy's initial explanation that somehow he was a man of honour, but he hadn't really repaid. And then they said, no, actually, he has repaid, but he hadn't repaid. None of it worked. So now we're starting to find out there was some skullduggery behind the scenes. Maybe he was refusing to pay or was asking for help. They've provided it. But if it wasn't the government, and it could never have been legally, as far as we're concerned, and if it wasn't the party, then who was it and how and under what conditions? We've been saying for a long time that it's... The NDP firmly believes that it's time to get rid of the unelected, unaccountable, under-the-table Senate. Now, uh, for Liberal MP Ralph Goodell, the big question is, uh, this $90,000 effectively closed down the audit. It was a closed conversation as soon as that money was repaid. Ralph Goodell wants to know what is the connection between uh, that $90,000 check and the audit expenses being a completely debt issue once that money was repaid. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. This is, the, though, the topic of our uh, web poll, and here's the question. Will there be renewed calls to abolish the Senate in light of the housing allowance scandal? Go to sunnewsnetwork.ca to cast your vote on that one, and it will be a subject of an interview later on in the show.